the long road of sesame and the many losses along the way. Adapai is one of the small towns in western Tigray zone, not far from the Humara town. Most people in Adabai produce sesame. Farmers and daily laborers in Adabai have been toiling for sesame harvesting, stacking, which means making hilas and threshing. In one sesame field spot, a woman puts her head down sifting the sesame leftovers from the soil. She and some of her friends have been spending the whole day in the fields collecting the leftovers of the sesame seeds. Hawanesh, 44 years old, is from the Kunama tribe and lives in Hilat Goga, part of Adabai. She is the breadwinner of a large family of eight. Hawa hardly supports her family because she earns only a meager income. This is why she collects sesame and sorghum seeds that are left on the fields. This task gives her an extra source of income and food for her family. Hawa has been doing this job for the last five years. Each year, she collects four to five quintals of sesame. The sesame she collects is lost during harvesting, threshing, and transporting. Although Hawa's work is backbreaking, she is not complaining because she gets good money out of it. The harvesting time is not over yet, but already Hawa has collected 200 kilo and earned more than 7,000 itepember. This is about 370 US dollars. It will even be more when the harvesting season is over. She managed to collect this amount without plowing, weeding, harvesting and threshing but with a few days of arduous work. The way Hawa and other Kunama women collect the sesame is surprising. They first collect the sesame together with field dirt and then sieve it with mosquito nets. After sieving, they take the seeds to the nearby river or other water source to wash and dry it. Then they will sell it to the traders. Not all women of the Kunama tribe do this task. But Hawa and her friend show the amount of money that can be earned with collecting lost sesame seeds. It also shows that there is a lot of sesame loss on the fields, enduring, threshing and transporting. Farmers have limited care during harvesting and storage. That's why Hawa and her friends can do this job. We have talked to Yamana Abai, a sesame farmer from the Adabai cluster, close to Humera. Yamana says that Farmers in the area do not have the awareness about sesame in the fields and in transport. Recently, the Sesame Business Network Support Program has done some research. Professionals showed us that there is a huge loss of sesame in stacking, threshing, transporting. I've learned that we lost about 2 kilograms of sesame from the Hila which means stack. Daily laborers lack of skills in bundling and stacking the sesame while harvesting is also the cause for the loss. Gabramedin Abai, who lives in the same Kabale, says that sesame is lost when stacked sesame is moved to the threshing sites. He said that farmers do not have so much knowledge about how much sesame is lost. Sesame farmers need to be aware of the post-harvest losses and take some measures to reduce it. Berzaf Gabrasilase shares the idea of Mr. Yamane and Mr. Gabramadin. She said she did not know that she lost too much of her sesame produce after harvest. She focused only on what she gets but not on what she loses. Mr. Wandosan Waja is a young investor farmer at Mirabar Majuho Woreda and has six years of experience in sesame production. He said, I'm well aware of the sesame losses, 
but I have never done anything to reduce the losses. After the sesame is harvested, it's easy to get losses because the seed capsule will split soon, opens and release the seeds. Mr. Mamai, the selling has been trading sesame in Humara for a long time. He said that the procedure of taking samples to check the quality of sesame at the Ethiopian Commodity Exchange is a cause for a lot of losses. I lost five quintals in a car that had 400 quintals only because of piercing. Apart from this, sesame losses occur when the sesame which is bought from the field or from local market to the ECX station should be put into new sacks. The Sesame Business Network, in short SBN, support program supports the Sesame sector in Amhara and Tigray regions since last year. The support program provides support for the 19 Sesame business clusters found in the seven waradas of the two regions. SBN has formulated reducing post-harvest loss as one of its five main economic objectives. SPN support program is working hard in close collaboration with farmers, primary cooperatives, cooperative unions, Office of Agriculture, Research Centers, Cooperative Promotion Office, Administrators, Trade and Transport, Traders, Input Providers and other stakeholders to reduce the loss by at least 20% by the end of 2015. During the 2013 harvesting and marketing season, between late September and December, SPN Support Program has undertaken action research to measure how much sesame is lost due to untimely harvesting or unharvested capsules during hila stacking, hila transport, threshing, transporting, storing, packing, cleaning or processing. The study focused on identifying potential states where significant amount of sesame is wasted. It has also tried to quantify how much of the yield is lost at the mentioned stage. Mr. Kahasu Kalali works for the support program as agricultural production coach at Humara and leads the post-harvest loss study at Western Tigray. He states that First results of the study shows that there is a big loss in stacking and hila making and transporting the stacked sesame to the trashing sites. While transporting the stacked sesame from the hilas to the trashing site, there is a 2 kg loss from one hila. There is also a 1.08 kg loss per hila due to wind. In some cases, the windstorm attacks the stacked sesame and this may cause a 100% loss. For example, this year, 100% loss occurred in my second. About 11,000 healers totally damaged due to wind accident. Similarly, Melissa Mesecker, agricultural production coach at Metema, who leads the post-harvest loss study in North Gondar, says The action research in the Amara region has been conducted in the four clusters, namely Shimfa, Matamayohan Skokit, Sanja, and Abdur Rafi. Twelve farmer fields were selected from each cluster. The results show that the post-harvest loss occurs mainly in stacking, transporting, and storage places. Primary market centers and the poorly constructed warehouses in these centers are the places where considerable losses are registered. The results show that the harvest losses are much higher. About 25 kg of sesame is lost per hectare during drying the harvested sesame in Hilas. This is about 4.8 to 6.4 percent of the total sesame in Hilas and is a loss of about 1,025 Ethiopian or 53 US dollars.
about half a million hectare land is covered by sesame annually in the northwest of Ethiopia. The largest production and export originates from this area, which covers 70% of the national sesame production. The result shows that there are 8 to 12 percent loss due to untimely harvesting or unharvested capsules during hila stacking and transporting, threshing, transporting to the storage places, storing, packing, cleaning, or processing. With the total sesame acreage of 497,466 hectare in northwest Ethiopia, this year the total loss is 276,590 quintals. This is equivalent to more than 1.1 billion Ethiopian bur or 58,943,000 US dollars. Sesame is one of the most important agribusiness sectors which has a significant turnover. That's why serious attention should be given to this problem. The efforts that have been undertaken to reduce the sesame loss should be strengthened. Sesame producing farmers Investors and those private and government bodies involving in the sesame sector should jointly exert their utmost effort to reduce the sesame loss by employing improved technologies and practices.